Thanks all for coming out tonight. Uh, my name is Rajan Zaveri and I'm the co-founder of Helm Studio. Five years ago, I was, uh, became involved in the post-production of a video that documented the illegal demolition of a slum in New Delhi. A community of 5,000 people who had been there for 20 plus years woke to find uh, bulldozers, police and government officials outside the house without any warning and any plan of relocation. And it was really a testament to the human rights lawyers and activists on the ground who were able to stall the government officials, uh, collect documentation, and using that documentation and the raw clips and images, uh, get a stay order and save two thirds of that community. It was the first time that I had seen these two uh, come together, law and media. And it really was what got me to leave London and what ended up being the last five years spending my time working with investigative journalists and human rights lawyers and design professionals. And from this, Helm was born. Hands-on, education, law, and media. The idea that we don't just tell people stories, but we build tools that help promote human rights and access to justice. For the last year and a half that we've been around, uh, we've worked with a number of organizations that we break down into three main categories. An example of the grassroots organization that we worked with recently, um, they were looking for a way of uh, educating low literacy garment workers about their rights uh, to do with things such as wages and hours, or um, what mechanisms are in place for them to activate if they ever experience something like sexual harassment in the workplace. We created simple animations with quizzes and uh, audio in the local dialects, and then distributed them on affordable tablets among the communities we were targeting. Uh, another project that we worked on was with the Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative, a European funded body, which uh, organization that has been really at the forefront of uh, police transparency for the last 20 years. We worked with them to solve two problems, to keep uh, police up to date with laws and policies and to train them, and to also uh, make people less afraid of walking into a police station. Its dual purpose uh, was achieved, and we're very, very happy to announce that it's had some great traction, and it's going to be now used across four different academies in four states in India uh, in the next coming months as an actual police training tool. No matter how small or how large the organization we work with, we uh, start with them right from the very beginning, if they need it, uh, all the way to the end. And that could be right from the grant making process where we help them write uh, with new media in mind, uh, through to the ideation, development, project management, uh, execution of the project, and then dissemination. And dissemination could work on uh, many fronts. It could be in digital, where we create interactive documentaries, uh, web-based tools, uh, applications, or in the physical space, where we work with workshops, um, exhibitions and panel discussions. What we identify with our partners as we're working with them is the best way to reach their target audience and achieve their goals is what we end up doing. Uh, for the last year and a half, we've been mainly grants funded, um, but through this program, we are hoping to achieve uh, different ways of becoming mo uh, more sustainable and grow our organization. Two other avenues of revenue that we have, have identified are, are gonna be moving forward over the next couple of months. Uh, licensing the technology that uh, we have created custom for these human rights organizations, such as the 360 Ready interface that we used to build the virtual police station on many different layers of media, uh, repackaging that and licensing it to other organizations who want to tell stories using multimedia. And also design-led thinking workshops, where we, just like uh, news organizations have legacy problems, so do large human rights organizations, where they're stuck on 200 page reports, and taking that information and data and repurposing it through social media and other places where their target audiences are to help create conversations and promote change. I couldn't do any of this without my amazing team. Two very passionate uh, human rights lawyers, one amazing UI UX designer. And over the years, we've cultivated a whole network of freelancers who we call upon as the projects need them uh, for whatever we want to try and build. Um, so the last four or five months in this 
uh, country has been absolutely mind-blowing and amazing. I've met some wonderful people. And if you guys yourselves are part of any sort of investigative journalism uh, organization or human rights organization, please be in touch if you like what we do, and we can see how we can help you. Thank you for your time. <laughs>